Great to see you here again. My name is Luc de Kuster, founder of the Kuster Academy. And in this video, I will answer a question that many of you may have. We've been talking about Agile, Scrum, Kanban, other methodologies. But how do I start with it? What are the things I can do to make the migration from a classical waterfall project management system or methodology into an Agile, for example, Scrum or Kanban? But before we continue, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. So let's have a look. Now, let's have a look at three possible ways to start with the implementation of Agile practices. First, we can organize stand-up meetings. Even in our classical project environment, you look at that, do the stand-up meetings, and show the people that they are communicating differently, that they are taking responsibility of what they're doing. They're sharing their progress and their problems with the team. Now, this is a small change, but after a while, people will start to feel happy with this. And when you go to a Scrum environment, it will be very easy to introduce this because they've already been doing it. And when you look at the sprints, you can look at that a small project you are doing. Okay, the organization is not like a waterfall, but you will see that you have that planning that you do, you do the sprint, and people are already getting used to that new weight. A Kaizen approach, a small steps at a time to let people move from one practice to another. Use a Kanban board. So you can use a Kanban board to show where the activities are going. And you can find the, you can combine it with a classical approach where you see the activities that people are working on. And when you see those activities, you also have an idea what is happening. If people are working on parallel on different activities, you will see that although you only have five people working, your whip work in progress should be limited to five activities, you already may see that there are more activities that the people are dealing with. Now, it also brings you the concept of flow to the people. And of course, if you've been working in an operations environment, you will understand how the flow works. But many people working in a project management in, uh, environment have not necessarily been working in an operations environment. Changing team roles, changing names, uh, change, giving people different names than before will be a very good indication that things are changing. You can also have some courses and trainings and simulations to help the team members to understand better what is happening. Now, when you look at Agile, you also want to find a tool. And when you want to deal with tools, there are a lot of tools. We have uh, Mondays, we have Trello. Uh, a lot of programs exist that will help you. But when you want to select it, first of all, it should be something that is user-friendly. We know that changing from one program to the other always creates problems. And what you want to find is a software that has a very steep learning curve that you can create something very quickly or get used to the program or very quickly. A second element, it has to support collaboration. Collaboration and communication is very essential and the team or the tool should enhance this. There are several applications that are uh, interesting for internal projects or you have cloud-based systems for external projects. So when you have the elements on your own server, it's more difficult to communicate with people outside of your organization, but you can get the collaboration when you add people to your project through using cloud-based solutions. Searchable, there are a lot of information that you can find. Searchable refers to um, other items that are on the cloud, for example, Dropbox, Google Drive, and others. So when you select an Agile tool, it would be very interesting that you can connect the two 
with these services. It's very interesting to have all these uh, things uh, connected because it's easy to share documentation and information between all the people involved. Mobile ready, uh, everything uh, we can do with a mobile, we can do so many things. It's a very good way to deal with it. I see people learning using mobile, using Moodle, all kinds of applications. There are many, most of the tools that are available today, they are mobile ready and you can integrate them in your mobiles without any problems. Everything evolves very quickly. So basically, I don't think there are many tools available yet that are not mobile ready, but there still may be. So you have to be sure that they are mobile ready. Work visualization, when you have visualization techniques, it's very interesting. A picture says more than a thousand words. Visualization of what is going on will help the people to understand how the project is going, who's dealing with the project, all kinds of elements which are very important in an agile tool. You may be in different places. You're not always co-located. Finding out what's going on is one of the most important elements to success and visualization will immediately show where things are going wrong. So that was it for the way to start with Agile. It's also the last video in this chapter. Uh, there may be other videos, but at the moment, this is the last video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. Thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in our next videos. Bye-bye.